How's it going out there? It's Ted the Tech. You're welcome to glamping with Ted the Tech. And, uh, well, I gotta go and uh, look, check out some things here. So what I'm gonna bloody well do is I'm gonna head over to Kroger, pick up some Martha Stewart stuff, which we know is the best ever. And uh, then we'll, you know, shoot a video on that stuff. Let's go over to uh, Kroger, check it out. <laughs> Kroger's. I'm getting ready to go in the store here to go pick up the rest of the Martha Stewart collection. Let me tell you something. The Martha Stewart collection is absolutely fabulous for glamping and we're gonna go buy the rest of it because of course, you know, you, you can't have a party without the fire. So Martha Stewart is the fire. She's on my, she's on my female bucket list. Let me tell you something. She's like number two. I won't tell you who number one is. You're gonna have to figure that out. But she's like my number two. And man. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, let's go inside, buy the rest of the stuff. Let's hit the gun shop. Let's just make it a day. Make it a way. You're on glamping. With Ted the Tech. First, walking through the store here, I noticed that they have a few things that are on sale, and you have to be able to notice things that are make your glamping blingable. So, of course, I'm looking at the EXO stuff, which this stuff is very inexpensive. Keeps all your all your perishables unperishable. I mean, like the cereal and stuff like that. Oh my God, this stuff is awesome for that. And it's organized, it keeps everything together. My God, inexpensive, less than five bucks. You gotta get it. Take the stuff out of the boxes. The boxes doesn't, it never fits in the cabinet right. So of course, I'm gonna take the box, I'm gonna take it out of the boxes and I'm gonna load it up in this stuff. And not glass, because we all know what happens to glass. But I'm gonna put it in this affordable plastic, affordable plastic. Martha, I know you're out there. This is the next best thing. The next best thing. But anyways, it'll bring you some bling bling. So, drop it down on the brother. You know what I'm saying? Drop it down on Anyways, picking it all up, putting it in the camper, bling bling, bling bling. All right, this right here is the Martha Stewart collection right here. This is what I'm talking about right here is, look at this stuff. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This stuff is plastic, man. So of course, it's gonna be wonderful in the camper. Look at that, good stuff, I'm buying it up. I don't care. I'm buying two, three, four, I don't know, five or six maybe. I don't know, but this stuff. Look at it, it looks so real. It looks real, man. It looks real. It's so cool. We're buying it all. We're buying it all. Sorry. My wife is going to be upset. But I got to come home with the, with the gold, baby. Got to come home with the gold. All right, let's go grab a basket and check out. All right, so I made it out of there with a few items. Uh, of course, I had to get some roses for the wifey. <laughs> Love you, honey. Anyways, headed to uh, Point Blank. And at Point Blank, we're gonna shoot the shotty and have a little bit of fun. And hopefully, uh, hook up with the wife at happy hour later. But, uh, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about glamping and everything that it has to offer there. Uh, a lot of it is, uh, you have to find the right materials to go glamping with. And uh, one of the things that I like is, I like to not always eat off of paper plates because paper plates kind of sucks. 
and uh, I want a little bit something more, you know, a little bit romantic when you're out with your lady friend or with your wife or whoever. And so uh, that's why I do it that way. And uh, so I found this Martha Stewart stuff. It's on sale here at uh, Kroger in uh, Burlington. Anyways, um, it's quite nice because that stuff is like, you know, normally it's kind of spendy but it's not really because you know it's plastic or whatever but anyways picked up a few things you know bowls this time I picked up a little bit of silverware and uh, so we're gonna throw that in the camper and uh, check it out mate you know what I'm bloody well talking What's going about on? well I came here to point blank to uh, shoot a little bit and come to find out I forgot my headphones so uh, my line of work you know I really want to protect my ears because you know hearing and visualizing surgery is just you know it's 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 definitely something that I need to make sure that I take care of um, I'm gonna do a whole video on you know the gun aspect and you know taking care of yourself as far as that is concerned uh, but uh, anyways so I'm just going to head to a happy hour and hook up with my girl. Anyways, see you soon. here at Jacobson Park and this is just a uh, local park here in Lexington beautiful beautiful park um, as you can see they have everything here I mean when I say everything I literally mean everything they have a wonderful park for fishing um, you can uh, do the um, what is it that frisbee golf you can walk your dog down here and of course if you look over that way, you can see the kids playing off on the playground in the distance. I mean, it's a huge, huge park. And then, of course, you can do regular golfing back over there on that golf course. And um, I'll try to find out which golf course that is and put it in my comments or either, you know, give it to you at a later date. However, um, I was just finishing up on my glamping video and wanted to express some things with you or talk about some things with you and that mainly is that one of the things that I learned about glamping also too is that when you are out there glamping and you know you're having a good time and everybody's cooking and you're enjoying yourself and things of that nature the one thing that you do have to take into consideration is you should always always well at least before you leave and maybe even if you forget to, you know, do it when you arrive, you should always empty your uh, tanks as far as your black tank, your gray tank, um, and uh, any other tanks that you have in there because not only does it add weight, but however, if you let it set in there too long, there's a good possibility that that can burst. And I had no idea about that until I read about it 
um, with uh, some of the other vlogs that people have put out there. And so, uh, you know, me being a novice, like I said, we're going through this together. Um, I'm, I'm learning just different things. And one of the things that I learned is that I can't let that sit around in there like I've been doing. Uh, I had been letting it go as long as two weeks, sometimes even a little bit longer, thinking that it would be fine. You know, thinking that it would be okay because I don't really, um, I don't really know how to put this. I don't really do too much of number two in there, but I do do a lot of number one. But, uh, <laughs> so, you know, anyways, I just thought that I would share that with you. And uh, that's mainly it. Let's go over and take a look at the trailer and I'll uh, give you some more tips. All right, back here in front of the camper. Um, one thing that I have noticed about this camper and I don't know if, you know, maybe you guys can answer this question and leave this in the comments also, um, is I've had to change lights on this twice now. I do use the more expensive lights because they're a little bit brighter and my vision just isn't as well at night as it used to be. Um, so I've changed the lights on this two times and those lights aren't cheap. Um, they're $70 lights. Um, I didn't, I use gloves. I mean, I really, I'm just taken aback by how, you know, long they don't last. I got those at the beginning of this assignment and I've already had to replace them once and it hasn't been a year. So I don't know if maybe, you know, you guys can give me some tips out there or something like that, or if it's just that strong of a draw or maybe I need to change a fuse or something like that in there, but maybe you guys can, you know, look that up for me and research it and leave your comments here. Uh, trust me, I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to do the best that I can. Uh, I did learn one secret to these is that if you give them the VIN number, that's how they can look up your lights. A lot of times people go to like AutoZone or something like that and they don't know exactly which lights they're looking for because, well, yeah, you know, you go to AutoZone and you tell them, I, ha I drive a Solera or I drive a, a Forest River and they're not gonna know what you're talking about. If you give them your VIN number though, it goes right to Mercedes and it goes to the series and uh, I believe it's a Dodge 3500. Anyways, um, let's go around on the other side and check something. Now, the uh, reason I want to talk about fuel is because um, on this, there is uh, something called um, DEF, which stands for um, diesel exhaust fluid, which I've looked it up and I've also uh, researched it. And it is a ammonia. It's an ammonia binding. So in other words, it takes all the bad pollutants and and uh, gets rid of them through your tailpipe. Um, a, a lot of these are, there's, there's pros and there's cons to it. A lot of people, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people have different opinions on it, first of all, but um, with this particular vehicle, yeah, you have to use it. It has an indicator on the inside. Like I mentioned earlier, I think on one of my other videos um, that uh, the indicator for the DEF went off and I needed to refill it and stuff like that. Now, the only downfall that I have with the DEF is that there's nothing indicating, or at least I haven't found it yet, um, when it's low. So, uh, one thing that somebody tried to tell me is, if for every three gallon, for every three fill-ups, I definitely need to put more DEF in there. So, I've been trying to follow those guidelines, but that really doesn't solve the issue. So, if you, again, know of a way out there of which I can either check it or if there's a dipstick involved or something like that, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Um, other than that, when you're gassing these up, now, gassing these up, especially when they're diesel, mine's diesel, it's about a 22 gallon, maybe a little bit more, but anyways, um, when you're gassing these up, that's a good time to go around and do your checks. I mean, as far as look at your tires, uh, look at the rear, look at the top, making sure that everything is all together and that 
um, the caps are closed and, and that the plugs are in and uh, the snaps are snapped. Um, I know it sounds redundant and it sounds kind of goofy. Like, you know, why would I, why would I have to check all that stuff? And the reason is because sometimes you just forget. You know, we just, we just forget to do the simple things. And if you leave something open, trust me, something's going to find its way in there. I've, I've had a couple surprises already. But other than that, yeah, that's a great time to check. So I usually check my tires. I usually check my uh, lights. I definitely check my lights all the time because, like I said, you know, you have an accident with one of these. It's a big mess. And, and not only that, but, um, you know, like I said, at night, my vision isn't as well as it should be. So, with that being said, you know, um, that's mainly some of the tips that I can give you right now. I mean, uh, if you guys can think of anything else you want me to, add, to talk about or to add or to go on, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, hit that subscribe or hit that like, dislike button for me. Um, let me know that I'm doing a good job. Let me know that I'm, I'm giving you, you know, everything that you need to know as far as the information on this. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll see you trucking on down the road.